Hi guys, good day! Today we'll be doing a special tutorial on mixing colors. We'll be using primary colors to get um, or to achieve the secondary and tertiary colors. And I will focus more on achieving um, secondary colors and I will teach you to achieve some tertiary colors that are common to my paintings. So this is um, quite exciting because uh, as I told in my previous, as I told you guys in my previous video, um, one of the tips that I gave um, was for you to learn how to use primary colors only and for you to um, be able to use them without having to buy those tertiary colors that are ready made or ready to use. So it's going to save you a lot of time or not time. It's going to save you a lot of money as well. And it will help you be more um, resourceful in terms of your materials. So yes, of course, we'll be using the primary colors as most of you already know, or if you don't know, then let me tell you the colors that are, or the basic colors or the primary colors, and these are blue, red, yellow. And I'll be using some black and white for purposes of achieving some light and dark colors when we go to um, tertiary colors all right so let's begin now guys I prepared uh, like a blank color wheel no not a blank color wheel it's not colored like a blank wheel <laughs> so for us to paint I'm gonna place some colors inside this tiny um, uh, what they call this spaces um, for purposes of showing you the relation between one color with another. So I'm gonna do first the basic colors. So I'm gonna wet my brush now. Okay, I'm gonna get my rag. Okay, I'm gonna start first with the blue color. So I'm gonna apply blue here. You don't have to be super neat. We're just doing a study actually, but since Okay, we want to really show you a wheel. <laughs> you might as well do this quite neatly. So there you go. Okay, that's blue. All right. Okay, you can wash your brush out. Wash it very well because we'll be doing a lot of colors today and we don't want any mixture. We're not yet doing the secondary or the um, tertiary. So be uh, wash your brush wash your brush very well. So I'm gonna get my red. Okay, gonna get my red. I'm gonna place my red color here. All right, like that. Okay, I think this is nice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out now. To be honest, I think I made a wrong <laughs> division here. It should be like just two, but I made three. So I'm just gonna get my pencil. I'm just gonna get my pencil because I made a wrong partition. All right. Okay, it should be just two, all right, like this, like that. Okay, it's quite, oh, uh, well, I'm going to make some more adjustment, like that, just to fix it, just to make it look more nice. Doesn't have to be fancy, guys, I'm just, you know, okay, <laughs> all right. Wash your brush out. Now I'm gonna get my yellow. So again, wash your brush very well. We don't want any, make any color of red or blue in there. Get your CAD yellow, CAD, and then paint here. So these are the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Why are they called primary colors? Because we cannot really produce them on our own like we do not we cannot mix colors to produce them 
they are the basic they are the like an an atom you know <laughs> the basic component of all uh, secondary and tertiary colors all right so what should we shout now we're gonna go into um secondary colors they're called secondary colors because they are a mixture of these primary colors so we'll be blending each colors so first we're gonna blend our blue and yellow so i'm gonna get my blue color and then i'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow like this so i make a greeny color i'm gonna apply it here oh it's so green i like it it's so green i like it so if you are doing some plants or leaves or three or not three or trees <laughs> so you can use this green color i like it so much all right okay now this time i'm gonna add more yellow to my mixture okay so this green color that we already have i'm gonna add more yellow this time okay more yellow and i'm gonna apply it here so it's like light green color all right this is nice okay like that so you get the idea now i hope you can see right so this is like blue um dark green light green and then yellow okay i'm gonna wash my brush out now and i'm gonna go up um counter clock what uh con count <laughs> i can't speak guys counterclockwise so i'm gonna go yellow plus red okay so i'm gonna get my yellow a lot of yellow and then tiny bit of red this color i don't know if this is too light but yep i'm gonna add tiny bit more okay like this color and we're gonna apply it here so it's like orangey color light orange okay like that okay this is a really nice practice because you don't have to buy ready ready to use colors you can buy if you want to i'm just saying that this is this will save you a lot of money and space whenever you want to bring your paints outside all right now this mixture only that i'm gonna add more red this time okay more red all right okay i'm gonna apply it here so it's like dark orange i like it i'm gonna focus it later Maybe you don't see it, but when you're painting along with me in this video, you will see the difference. Okay, I hope you can see guys. Right? Right, it's perfect. Okay, so this is like dark orange or orange. This is mid orange and this is yellow. All right, now we're going again, um, counterclockwise. Wash your brush out carefully or wash your brush out well, <laughs> not carefully. So I'm gonna get more red this time and tiny bit of blue. I think that's a lot of blue. Okay, I'm gonna add more red because that's a lot of blue, I guess. All right, like this color, guys. This color, almost brown. All right, and I'm gonna apply it here so it's like um um cherry red you know that cherry red <laughs> wine red i'm sorry it's like wine red yeah okay like that mm, that's nice yeah you can see that 
it appears dark but you know uh it's not really dark it's just my camera look at the yeah it's not it's not dark I'm gonna show you what the dark color is. Now this time I'm gonna add more blue to this mixture. I'm gonna add more blue. It's really, really dark now. Maybe I'm gonna add quite or a little red. It's too dark. Now I'm gonna apply it here. Okay. This is too dark, maybe because my blue is quite pigmented. But we're trying to achieve some dark violet. Oh, this is really violet. Now I can tell that it is violet. It's just dark. But uh, when you look at it closely, you'll see the difference. It's just too... Um, I think the camera right but it's violet so if you want and I'm gonna show you that it's really violet once we go to the tertiary colors so this is the color wheel with the secondary colors in it again we have okay basic colors first we have the red we have the blue and we have the yellow all right and this two in between those primary colors are the secondary colors. All right, these two, the secondary colors, these two, the secondary colors. All right, so I hope that helped you guys. Oh, sorry guys it's not the secondary colors <laughs> I'm sorry because I included yellow it's primary the secondary color are the secondary colors are this two in between blue and yellow so I hope that that's clear now so this is the color wheel all right now I'm gonna show you some um, color mixing techniques that I've learned um, in my practice so did you know that you can actually make a green color by mixing yellow okay black and white you can actually make a green color it's muted green let me tell you or let me show you how it's done so get your yellow okay get your yellow get tiny bit of black like see it's almost green right so i'm just telling you guys that you can actually create muted green by mixing black and yellow so this is muted yellow, muted green okay so i'm gonna write all right oh sorry so i'm gonna write <laughs> it's muted green sorry about that paintbrush all right i hope you can read all right this is actually muted green let me show you up close like that mm. all right next Okay, wash your brush out very well again. Okay, I'm gonna make some skin tone. Okay, so I'm gonna get, this is a regular skin tone. Okay, this will uh, vary when you're doing darker skin tones or lighter skin tones. You just have to adjust by using white. I'm gonna go mid range, okay? So get your white color and get your red color like that and then get your blue color like this color and then get your yellow color like that all right add more white 
and then I get the fair, I mean, the mid-range skin tone, like quite pinkish, like this. I hope you can see that. So let me focus the camera. This color, guys. So it's like blush pink. So maybe when you're doing skin of facial skin, you can do that. I'm going to use, okay. Skin tone. All right. Average, okay? That's average. In terms of color, meaning it's mid-range. All right. Okay, wash your brush out now. Wash your brush out. How about peach color? How about peach? So, if you want to do some peach color, get some red. Okay, red. Get some yellow to make some orange color. Add white to that. All right, add white. And then add some blue color. All right, like this. And then... Again, add more red and add white. So this is like peachy color, like that. Like this. All right, so that's peach. So you, I'm just telling you guys that you can actually create a lot of colors just by using your primary colors. All right, wash your brush out. <laughs> now how to make burnt sienna? You know how to make burnt sienna color? We're gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna get my red color, red, add blue. Okay, again, red color red and then I'm gonna add yellow cad yellow like this okay I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white just to uh, make it more opaque okay I'm gonna add more yellow so you see guys I'm just adjusting everything and red and we got the burnt sienna color Right, we got the burnt sienna. I'm so happy. <laughs> Yay, that's burnt sienna. Okay. So that's burnt sienna. Okay. <laughs> I hope you can read, guys. <laughs> okay, that's burnt sienna. Can you read? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. All right, then wash your brush out. How to make a cerulean blue. So, you probably know already how to do a cerulean blue, but let me just tell you how I do it. So I'm gonna get my thalo blue. Okay, I'm gonna add white to that white and basically basically you're done that's it that's it this is cerulean blue okay so that's cerulean blue okay <laughs> that's nice okay yeah this is yeah that's those are the colors that i usually use um using my ready to use or ready-made tertiary colors so yeah i hope guys that you enjoyed this simple video in color mixing because i think this will help you a lot so this will help you a lot in um painting using limited palette 
and it will also help you understand colors even more because you know when you have those ready-made colors you don't really have to think too much right but if you really want to practice your sense of color understanding then i think this is a good practice so you can do this at home you can simply make your own color wheel so this is amazing i also uh, learned while doing this so thanks for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed this special video again and see you on my next video guys mm -hmm. psh, psh.